Marty, you have been running this fair for a lot of years. Tell me a little bit about your history with the Montgomery County Agricultural Fair and how you got started. I came here as a volunteer in 2003 and it evolved into my becoming the executive director in 2006. So you've been doing this for eight years. Does it get better and better as time goes on? One of the challenges we have in trying to put a fair together is keeping some of the old so we've got the tradition and always offering something new so folks will have something new to see and know that they're not coming to the same old fair. Social media is a huge piece of any fair. We have a committee of volunteers that handle our social media group and they, uh, they do an exquisite job of trying to keep up with making sure there are posts regular about what's happening at the fair today, how to respond to questions, concerns, and we do get criticisms and complaints. We try to respond to them the best way we can on a day-by-day -day basis. Actually, that barn there was built on June the 16th. 1949. Oh my goodness. No kidding. Now we've upgraded it, we replaced some wood on it, we painted it, but it's the same barn that was built on that day. We're in the heart of this year's fair, 2014, but it's ending up in, on the weekend and we're going to be moving into next year. Do we start planning right away when this fair is done? Do you get right into the planning phase for next year? We're already working on 2016 and there are certain things I have in a can already for 2020. Um, one of the things that we work way in advance on is our fair theme. We make sure we get themes in place so that 4-H and others who want to plan special events around the themes have the opportunity to do that. Our mission focuses on family entertainment, ag education, and having a great spot for people to show their agricultural products and, uh, and the animals. Little, little known fact, have you ever had a mosquito bite on the fairgrounds? Hi, Emily. Uh, not that I can recall. You won't. Really? We spray it every night. Got to. So interest in the fair doesn't ever really wane. It seems like the interest in the fair continues to grow. Agriculture is a big part of life here in Montgomery County. Is that the truth? The, one of the little known facts about Montgomery County is that almost half of the land mass of the county is in Ag Reserve. This county has done an excellent job of preserving agricultural land for future generations and is a role model for many counties and states throughout the country. Smile, there we go. This is Rex. He's our uh, photographer, been here oh. since since birth. How long have you been at the fair? Here since birth. Pretty, since birth. <laughs> Pretty close. That's not an exaggeration. Pioneers who are here together today. What is it about this job that you love so much that's made you stay as long as you have? There are many things about running a fairgrounds that, that any person would find interesting. Um, the volunteers, the folks that we work with every day. This fair is unique in many ways. Um, one of those ways is that we have 2,600 people who have the status of life member. Now you become a life member at the fair by giving, donating 200 hours of your time to fair operations. During every fair, we have over a thousand volunteers will actually sign in and log hours uh, during the nine day period of time. There are folks who take their vacation time from their jobs and spend the entire week here to help provide this opportunity for the citizens of Montgomery County. Yes. Isn't that awesome? That's great. I look, I look better on paper. <laughs> So is this a full-time job then? Is this something for you that's a year-round full-time gig or are you able to kind of step away from it at all? For me, it is absolutely a full-time job. It goes, you know, 12 months of the year like many jobs do. There are times of the year that are busier than other times. Um, we continue to try and evolve as a fairgrounds and make maximum utilization of this great property we have. We have to continue to have a plan for the future. Any, any business that doesn't have a long-term logistical plan is not looking ahead. So we continue to try and determine whether there's a piece of land in Montgomery County that will meet our needs and that's a very difficult thing because roads, water, sewer, gas, electric, all those pieces enter into the building and construction of a fairgrounds. Uh, this fairgrounds is a lovely site, it's a great property, it has history, ambiance and we're going to continue to maintain and upgrade it for as long as we can. And what about you, Marty Svercek? You stay in put? <laughs> Marty loves his job, he will continue to stay. I have a tremendous cohort of folks who helped put this fair on and if you were to just stand at this spot and look around I am betting I see no less than two dozen volunteers from this spot who are helping to make this operation run.